Earlier today, Qualcomm announced its latest flagship mobile chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 at their annual Snapdragon Tech Summit, giving the market an early preview of their most powerful Android chipset of 2022. It's the first chipset to bear Snapdragon's new naming scheme, the Snapdragon 8 series. Probably because the company is trying to get rid of the shadow of its predecessor, the Snapdragon Triple A chipset. Although the Triple A chipset is not that bad, we have still seen a lot of complaints about it for its whole year. Anyway, the new chip king is coming. As in the past, Qualcomm is promising some major improvements in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which is about better CPU and GPU performance, new camera technology, better AI capacity, and better security. Let's start with the new architecture. It's the first time that Qualcomm is using the latest ARM v9 architecture. The chip also has the new 8-core Cairo CPU and the new Adreno GPU. The new CPU features a single prime core of Cortex-X2 at 3.0 GHz along with three performance cores of Cortex A710 at 2.5 GHz and four efficiency cores of the Cortex A510 at 1.8 GHz. Here we want to show you a brief comparison with another latest flagship chipset, the MTK Dimensity 9000. Let's do a quick comparison between the 9000 and the new Snapdragon 8. With the slightly higher clock over the both the large core and the three mid cores, and an integrated higher 8MB L3 cache, theoretically Dimensity 9000 will have a bit better CPU performance. And the promising improvement of the 8 Gen 1 CPU performance is not as large as the Dimensity 9000. As claimed, it will offer up to 20% better performance and 30% more power efficiency over the Triple Eight chip. About the new Adreno GPU, Qualcomm didn't give a specific number for the updated hardware, but promises to offer 30% faster graphics rendering and 25% better power efficiency compared to the Triple Eight chipset. And the 8 Gen 1 will be the first platform to support Unreal Engine 5 for gaming. The new Snapdragon chip uses Samsung's 4 nanometer process over the 5 nanometer process on which the Triple Eight chip was built. Yes, it's again manufactured by Samsung, so we still have some concerns about its heating and power performance. Apart from the better CPU and GPU performance, the new chip also features a few imaging improvements for mobile cameras, including better night mode that can use data from up to 30 images in a single shot and the four times faster AI engine also will provide support for adding portrait effects to 4K video with a new Bokak engine. The new ISP system also comes with all other camera features including support for shooting 8K videos with HDR, 4K at 120fps, 18-bit raw images with up to four additional stops of dynamic range. Qualcomm is also adding a fourth ISP for powering an always-on camera, but the idea is likely to raise some obvious security concerns while the company claimed that the new future will run locally at a high security level. For connectivity, it comes packed with a Snapdragon 865 modem, which is Qualcomm's fourth generation 5G modem. It's built on the existing millimeter wave and sub 6 gigahertz compatibility, which supports up to four 10 gigabytes per second speeds and latest 3 GPP releases, 16 specifications. It is coupled with the FastConnect 6900 mobile connectivity system, which it claims offers the best Wi-Fi 6 speeds. It supports Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E, along with Bluetooth LE audio and the company's Snapdragon sound technology that enables Aptek's lossless wireless audio. Taking care of the security is the new trust management engine. It also supports the Android Ready SE standard with support for digital car keys, driver's license, IDs, and e-money wallets. There's also built-in iSIM support for directly connecting to cellular networks. So far, there are quite a lot of brands that have confirmed using the 8 Gen 1 platform on their models, including the Xiaomi Mi 12 series, Motorola's Moto Edge X30 series, Realme GT2 Pro, Samsung S22 series, OnePlus 10 series, Redmi K50 Pro, Honor Magic 4, and so on. 
What's really funny is that the Motorola and Xiaomi have started an interesting argument about the debut of the chip. Xiaomi no doubt is one of the most important partners of Qualcomm and has announced their December release of the Xiaomi 12 series as the first model running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. However, at the same time, Moto insisted that their Moto Edge X30 series is going to be launched on December 9 and open for sale in mid-December, which, if true, will be the true debut of the new chip. In support of their respective statements, both of the brands just published a video of the production line on the same day. Now let's wait and see who will really win the battle of the debut of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. But here we want to remind you that these early models may not be the best options if you are going to buy a new flagship running this chip. Since our past experience shows that the early batch of Snapdragon models may have some bugs and issues, so the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 models could suffer the same fate again. But sources say that Xiaomi is in full swing with the development of Mi 12 software, so we're still looking forward to the performance of the new generation of these performance monsters. And we will also bring you guys the latest review on the upcoming new models once we get them and let you know how the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 truly performs as the brain of a phone. So stay tuned. Please leave a like if you have enjoyed the video and you can comment to let us know if you have enjoyed the video or not. And subscribe to get more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one.